We hear a lot of words associated with President Donald Trump. Bigot, racist, even Nazi, to name just a few. However, I am partial to a word I don't think I've ever heard on the news or read in the papers. The word that should be associated with this president is one of my favorite words. The more I think about this guy, the more I associate him with the word convert. I really think this word fits him well. A while back, a Catholic priest wrote a book called Playboy to Priest. Maybe you've heard of him. I heard him speak on a number of occasions. Anyone listening to him never doubted that he was a playboy. Although we didn't know all the grim details, <clears throat> we all sort of know what a playboy is all about. Needless to say, this priest's former lifestyle wasn't very priestly. But there he was, a dedicated priest who found God and embraced the fullness of the Catholic faith. So if a playboy can change his life 180 degrees and become a priest, why can't a celebrity TV star change his thinking and his life to some extent and become a president? I think this is part of the reason why so many people dislike him so much. Even though very few leftist type people would call themselves playboys, there is something very playboy-like about them. Oh, I can almost hear my leftist friends screaming, us leftists hate Playboy. Playboy is a male chauvinistic institution that is antithetical to women's equality issues or marriage equality or even documented versus undocumented equality. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying President Trump has converted so much as to warrant an investigation into his future canonization. Far from it. But his amazing dedication to important Christian values, like the dignity of life within the womb and the sacredness of the natural significance of different gendered marriage, is a big sign that this man is a convert. Modern feminists and leftist type people may dislike the concept of playboy because of its male chauvinistic underpinnings. Actually, I would agree with their negative assessment of the playboy and the accompaniment of its moral principles. Male superiority over females, just like one race's superiority over another's, has no place in the Catholic ethos. However, if the leftist folks were honest, they would recognize that there is an aspect of the playboy ideology that is very much a part of the modern feminist and leftist world view. That is the good old fashioned ideology known as hedonism. Hedonism is an obvious characteristic of the playboy, but it's also a key ingredient of the leftist ideology. Here's where President Trump distinguishes himself as a convert. To move from a playboy to a politician who now advocates for the policies and positions which cramp the classic hedonistic lifestyle constitutes a convert. Us priests know too well how good converts are for our parishes. It might be a simple way of looking at things, but it seems this convert who lives at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue is equally good for our nation. Well, I'm Father Tom Coys. Don't forget to subscribe to Unlike Other Nations. God bless you.